Tokyo and surrounding prefectures were jolted by a strong earthquake on Thursday night. Leaving more than 20 people injured and bringing the strongest shaking to the capital's central ward since the Great East Japan earthquake disaster in 2011. Following the magnitude 5.9 quake, TV footage showed a home on fire. Water leaking from manholes, a partially derailed passenger train and darkened railway stations full of stranded passengers. The magnitude was originally reported as 6.1 and later downgraded by the Meteorological Agency. The agency warned that a quake of similar intensity could occur within the week, with an official estimating a 10% to 20% chance based on previous temblers. While the strong jolt frightened many people in the Tokyo area, the agency said the latest Tembler was smaller in scale than one feared to be likely in the future. More than 20 commuter lines in the capital and surrounding areas went offline following the quake. But some lines began resuming operations in the early hours of Friday. The quake logged a strong 5 on the seismic intensity scale of 7 in parts of Tokyo and Saitama Prefecture, with the focus in northwestern Chiba Prefecture at a depth of about 80 kilometers. The government's top spokesman, Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Mitsuno told a news conference that there were no abnormalities reported at nuclear facilities. A Nippori Tenari liner train in Tokyo's Adaki ward partially derailed after making an emergency stop, leaving at least three passengers injured. Tokyo Electric Power Co. Holdings Inc. said that about 250 households in the capital's Shinjuku ward had experienced power outages, but service was later restored. Power also came back online at Tokyo Shinagawa Station after an earlier outage. 